Well, Trend Management is a talent agency created with the influencer in mind. And I'm so excited because today we are joined by the CEO, Ted Rad, to tell us more about Trend Management. Ted, thanks so much for waking up with us. <laughs> Thank you for having me. This is a pleasure. I'm really excited. Congrats on your success. First off, how did you get into the market of influencer management? Yeah, it's not something I accidentally uh, or I, I, I planned for. Uh, my wife is a creator, and over time in 2018, her platform was growing quickly. And then she started getting a lot of opportunities uh, from brands, and we didn't know how to navigate the space at the time. I was working at my job at, at HP, and it didn't feel like it made sense for us. And then uh, we signed with a management company. And you know, when she was there, she, uh, she, she the whole time was, was feeling like they weren't very transparent. They weren't really advocating for her. She was getting opportunities that she was declining because it didn't make sense for her audience. And then over time, they were upset with her. So it felt like she was working for them than the other way around. I, I went to go find another management company for her to manage because it wasn't really my life goal to manage women's and lifestyle uh, and fashion. Uh, so we were looking for other management companies and talking to her friends and they all had the same issues. So I decided to start a management company with the creator in mind. We are advocating for the creator. The creator is our client. That's who we're working for. We want to make sure that we navigate them, not just for what they can get today, but for the future, the two to three years of what they're doing in this platform. I really love this, and I think it's so interesting as we have this influencers and we're seeing more and more of this. So what would you say has made Trend successful in this industry, and what type of creators are you looking for? I think what's what's made uh, us so successful is just our authenticity with our creators. Uh, we, we have relationships with our creators. We keep our ratios really low. Uh, for one talent manager, we have five creators, which means our talent managers really get to know our creators. They really get involved in their business, and they really want to see what's they really want to see them succeed. So their business is our business, and that's very important for us. Uh, in this whole thing. Um, and sorry, you had, you had a follow-up question. I'm trying to remember what oh, you're, that's you're, okay. you asked there. No worries. I, you know, what type of creators are you looking for? Because everybody thinks they're a creator, but what kind are you? Yeah, no, I, I think the creators we're looking for are those that are using this as their full-time business. Somebody who is um, leveraging this is something they, they are looking forward to build with and their brands and their partnerships. Uh, and they really are trying to find what makes sense for them in brand partnerships, working with the right brands, making sure it's organic to them, making sure that they feel like they can navigate this space. It's hard to know your value, it's hard to know your rate, and it's hard to know what to advocate for. And we want to be able to advocate for them. And how would you say the influencer marketing industry has changed the past four to five years? Yeah, and I think you can relate to this. I think four to five years ago, it was all about being perfect. It was that perfect image of what, 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 what picture can you capture that looks like you have everything all together. And I think social media now, the people have moved away from that. They want to feel what you're feeling. They want to know the, the troubles and the trials that you're going through. I mean, my wife uh, recently um, you know, delivered our second child. She showed the whole process of postpartum. And she was able to relate to a lot of the moms and able to say like, hey, this is what I'm going through. It's tough. I'm tired. I know a lot of you moms are going through the same thing. You know, let's build a community here with that. I think that's what people are looking for now. And I think that's the way that social media has changed from what it was, uh, I think, five years ago. And I told you I follow your wife, so I felt like I already know you. And congrats <laughs> on baby number three. But I was looking for that as a first time mom. So it's definitely working and being transparent. What's next for the company? Yeah. You've had some big moves. Yeah, well, right now we're expanding to Nashville. We want to be closer to our creators. We want to provide them an opportunity to come and hang out with us and see what we're doing and provide a space for them. And I think management has a tough name. And what I want to do is change that stigma and, and let that translate not just in the space that we're in with fashion and lifestyle, but across the different avenues and different parallels where they need the help and they need the guidance. Well, I love it because, like I said, I follow you all, and what you see is truly what you get. You have been a pleasure. Where can we go for more information? Uh, if you are a creator that is interested or if you're also a brand that's trying to figure out how to get into this industry, just head on to www.trendcompanies.com, and we'll be glad to help you out. Well, it was a pleasure having you on this morning. Thanks so much for your time. Well, thank you so much. Love being here.